Following on from function machines, we reach the nth term. This is like a function machine, but it's given using letters and we are asked usually to find the first five terms of a sequence. That means that we want the first term of a sequence, the second term, the third term, the fourth term and the fifth term. For example, the two times table is a sequence and we would do one times two gives us two, two times two gives us four, three times two gives us six and so on. So I'm going to show you how to calculate the nth term for simple examples to start with. And the first one we're going to do is 3n. Now we use a table to help us, and if you look, I've got n, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 in my table. n is the term, so it's the position of the number in the sequence. So when n is 1, we're looking for the first term of the sequence. Now I want 3n, and when I've got a number next to a letter like that, it means that I'm timesing them together. So 3n is 3 times n. So all I have to do to find 3n is do 3 times 1, which is 3. Now I need to do 3 times 2, which is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 4 is 12 and 3 times 5 is 15. You may have spotted that that's the 3 times table. Here's another example. This time we've got n plus 5. When n is 1, we need to do 1 plus 5, which is 6. Pause the video and fill in the rest of the table yourself. The rest of the table is 7 because 2 plus 5 is 7, 3 plus 5 is 8, 4 plus 5 is 9, and 5 plus 5 is 10. Here's a more complicated example where we've got to do more than one thing. Okay, This is saying we need to do 4 times n and then add 2. So for the first one, for when n is 1, we do 4 times 1, which is 4, plus 2. So our answer is 6. Pause the video and have a go at this one. For the next one, we need to do 4 times 2, because now we've got n equaling 2, and then add 2, so our answer is 10. For the next one, we need to do 4 times 3 plus 2, which is 14. 4 times 4 is 16, add 2 is 18. And finally, 4 times 5 is 20, plus 2 is 22. Last one, we've got 3n take away 7. So we need to work out 3 times n and then take away 7. So for the first one, it's going to be 3 times 1, which is 3, take away 7. And 3 take away 7 is minus 4. So the answers can be negative as well. 3 times 2 is 6, take away 7 is minus 1. 3 times 3 is 9, take away 7 is 2. 3 times 4 is 12, take away 7 is 5, and 3 times 5 is 15, take away 7 is 8.